Remember when uh, the other day Elon Musk was interviewed uh, by Jordan Peterson with that electric magnetic charisma bouncing back and forth? And Elon was like, it, so it's not even that he was transphobic to his trans daughter, because that's one thing. And I expect that it's that it was in such a cringe way, like unironically saying the woke mind virus killed my son. Like it, it's. It's so indicative of a person who doesn't have any real thoughts or opinions, but just consumes and regurgitates like the memes and Twitter feed uh, uh, dreck that he consumes. And it just like it, it, it completely shapes his personality. You know, I got tricked into supporting gender affirming care. Anyway, his daughter uh, did a big thread on threads, the screenshots of which uh, of which have gone gangbusters here on, on Twitter. So, you know, and she says. And we stand, by the way. We do, in fact, stand. Can you imagine how emotionally distressing it must be to have your hyper oligarch father publicly dead name you, whine about you, say you were tricked into supporting her, say that she's dead to you, et cetera, et cetera? You know? Anyway. There's a lot of stuff I need to debunk, which I will get to, don't worry, but I want to start with what I think is, I find the funniest, which is the notorious, slightly autistic tweet. So this is when Elon said that his trans daughter was born, quote, gay and slightly autistic, two attributes that contribute to gender dysphoria. I knew that from when he was about four years old and he would pick out clothes for me to wear like a jacket and tells me it was fabulous as well as his love of musicals and theater, but he was not a girl. And Vivian says, this is entirely fake. Like, none of this ever happened. Ever. I don't even know where he got this from. My best bet is that he went to the Milo Yiannopoulos School of Gay Stereotypes and just picked some at random and said, eh, good enough, in a last-ditch attempt to garner sympathy points when he's so obviously in the wrong, even in his own f story. The idea that, like, Elon has ever meaningfully engaged with his children is it defies belief to begin with, to be honest with you, but also the idea that Elon doesn't really know or believe anything. So he just gets these stereotypes about gay or trans people from what he sees other reactionaries saying and doesn't have any actual experience as a father to pull from. Incredibly funny to think about. Incredibly funny. I did not have a love of musicals and theaters when I was four because, you know, I was I did not know what these things were. My earliest real experience with musicals was when my twin brother had a Hamilton phase in 8th or ninth grade and overplayed it so much in the car to the point where for a long time I swore off the whole genre. I never picked out jackets for him to wear and I was most certainly not calling them fabulous because literally what the... Four-year-olds love to say fabulous, by the way. You know? Four-year-olds love that shit. There's nothing four-year-olds love than being really into musicals when you're too young even for preschool and saying fabulous. I bet she said it like that too, you know? I did not use the word fabulous when I was four because once again, I would like to reiterate, I was four. Like this is so obvious, I don't think it even warrants explanation, but apparently people believe this nonsense, so here I am. So here I am. Only Elon would be stupid enough, not only to, in an attempt to get like recognition and accolades from neo-Nazis on Twitter, not only lie about his daughter, but lie so unconvincingly that it doesn't even pass like the sniff test, basically. Like you get like, oh, really? You're a four-year-old, you know? That's what that's that's what was happening? That's crazy. It's wild to think about. Like that he's stupid enough to think that would pass. The entire thing is made up and there's a reason for this. He doesn't know what I was like as a child because he quite simply wasn't there. And in the little time that he was, I was relentlessly harassed for my femininity and queerness. Yeah, that tracks. Obviously, he can't say that. So I've been reduced to a happy little stereotype fagging along to use at his discretion. I think that says a lot about how he views queer people and children in general. As for if I'm a woman, sure, Jan, whatever you say, I'm legally recognized as a woman in the state of California, and I don't concern myself with the opinions of those who are below me. Obviously, Elon can't say the same because in a ketamine-fueled haze, he's desperate for attention and validation from an army of degenerate red-pilled incels and pick who are quick to give it to him. Go touch some grass. And then someone else replies, extremely shocked to hear this douchebag is a liar. Hope you're not too bothered by what he says about you. And Vivian says, I'm not, lol. I've just started to find it funny at this point. Calling me dead on a podcast with Jordan Peterson, of all people, while basically admitting you have zero reading comprehension by saying you were tricked into signing documents that you read over multiple times is basically a parody of itself. Like, it's honestly camp. So 
Vivian, I guess, deciding to break pseudo public anonymity, not anonymity, I don't know, silence, um, to trash her father in a way that gets her significantly more attention on his website than his trashing of her does. Incredibly funny. Um, following this, uh, uh, Grimes, the weirdo that she is, nonetheless, uh, said she's proud of Vivian. So that's nice. You know, that's, that's very nice. Vivian dropped more posts. Yeah, no, Vivian's been going off. That was just like the, that was just the, I mean, why not? Right. Interesting to see conservatives' reactions to this, where I'm being treated as both a helpless victim of some elite cabal of neo-Marxist slash trans activists slash insert buzzwords here slash whatever who is cruelly scooped up and taken away, yet simultaneously as some vindictive master manipulator, quote, tricking Elon into signing documents that he had read. Because in order for their worldview to make any sense, both of these have to be true at the same time. Obviously, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever, so I'm being both infantilized and villainized. Uh, because this anti-trans crusade was never about protecting the children, it was about trying to justify conservatives' own outdated and ugly prejudices by shielding it behind even the most fragile of barriers. I'd be worried about her, honestly, like in a, in a security sense, because I feel like, you know, get, like given how insane Elon supporters are, you like, you never know, right? She's well-spoken. Well, she is, yes, but... She's also just not Elon. Every public interaction, everything he says and does, Elon just comes across low IQ. The only reason anyone thinks otherwise is because he's wealthy and powerful. That's literally it. That's all. By the way, I look to see, like, to sort of gauge his intellectual caliber, I look to see what he was up to. He last tweeted 51 seconds ago, and it's responding to a Truth Social post from Donald Trump. Truth Social, which he uses, by the way, because Donald Trump pridefully refuses to use Twitter after having been banned by it, despite Elon unbanning him and begging him to use the platform again. To which Elon says based. Uh, insane, exclamation point, exclamation point. Don't send them to school in California. Ah, right, because uh, Elon has experience sending his children to school in California, and they ended up, like, roasting him on threads. From America First Legal, what is the Biden-Harris Edmonds illegal CBP1 app? Wow, this is crazy. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. In response to Vivek Ramaswamy, wise words. I read Jane Austen. So anyway, yeah, he's, he, he you know, again, like uh, 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 people who believe in meritocracy see thing as always. I, I know I don't have much to say, I guess, really, other than like repeating what Vivian said. But to be honest with you, she kind of said it, didn't she? I really hope that Vivian keeps with it, by the way, uh, because one thing that Elon, uh, very much like uh, Donald Trump, Elon is uh, uh, an oligarch with a very fragile ego. And I genuinely think that it would be very disruptive to him to have a child constantly needling him from afar, you know? And it is very funny that in like a Daily Wire published interview with Jordan Peterson, that interview and its contents have been largely ignored. The only thing, guys, have you seen any content from that interview except for uh, people criticizing or Republicans celebrating his disgusting language about his daughter? It was a two-hour interview between Elon Musk and Jordan Peterson. Yeah, it didn't get much traction, probably because it was boring as shit. I looked at it because when I was going to go over it, at first I thought I'll go over the whole video, of course, because content, homie, I can just sit here and like, you know, uh, like, I don't know. Junk it, and by it I mean my peepness, uh, for two hours and get donations. I love that. I love free money. But I take a look at it before stream starts, and I'm like, okay, so what is it like exactly? It's boring. It's incredibly boring. The whole thing was really, 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 genuinely, extremely uninteresting. So the Twitter clips we go, and it seems everyone else agrees, which is the reason why that's the only shit that gets rebroadcasted, and that still gets less attention than Vivian roasting him on threads. It's nice. It's nice. I don't know. Anyway, we're all Vivian stands here. Um, she's a young trans woman, so I guess uh, I preemptively condemn uh, the weird Hearts of Iron 4 interest and uh, the, I, I don't know, the specifically bad opinions on certain video games. I, I, I don't know. I, as, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just covering my bases. We support her broadly. We distance from some things ourselves. It's, 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 it's fine. We wish her the best. There was an NBC interview with uh, with Vivian in addition to the Threads post. 
he's activated his daughter. Elon Musk's trans daughter in first interview says he berated her for being queer as a child. I think he was under the assumption that I wasn't going to say anything and I would let this just go unchallenged, Wilson said in a phone interview. Wilson? Oh, that's the last name. Oh, right, right, right. Because she completely cut herself from Elon legally. Like she literally, she hates him so much that she went to the court and like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see soon. Because Wilson's also a first name, but it's not Vivian's given dead first name. So I was curious, like, what's going on here? If we found new and innovative ways of dead naming? I don't know. I'm just making sure. I wouldn't expect that from this article, but, you know, just making sure. The woke mob will come at you for accidentally dead naming people. You know that? It's crazy. They, they won't let you say anything. I mean, who wants to be called Musk? It's a really dumb name. That's true. Anyway. Wilson said that for as long as she could remember, Musk hasn't been a supportive father. She said he was rarely present in her life, leaving her and her siblings to be cared for by their mother or by nannies, even though Musk had joint custody. By the way, Grimes, for not having already done 57 giant exposés on the fact that he was undeniably an abusive, absent parent. You know? Like, seriously. Or bananas, even though Musk had joint custody, and she said Musk berated her when uh, when he was present. He was cold, quick to anger, uncaring, and narcissistic. Wilson said that when she was a child, Musk would harass her for exhibiting feminine traits and pressure her to appear more masculine, including by pushing her to deepen her voice as early as elementary school. That's f weird. That's like grooming. The deepening of a voice is a secondary sexual characteristic. Elon hurriedly inspecting the bodies of his underage, presumed male children. Where is your armpit hair? I was in fourth grade. We went on this road trip, uh, road trip that I didn't know was actually just an advertisement for one of the cars. I don't remember which one. And he was constantly yelling at me uh, viciously because my voice was too high. It was cruel. Musk didn't respond to a request for comment. Oh man, I bet he regrets talking about his daughter. Oh my God. Sought court approval in 2022 in California to change her name and denounced her father. I no longer live with or wish to be related to my biological father in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I knew that one. And the rest of it seems like it's a recap of what Elon said. Oh, well. Kim and the uh, accolades to her. Wait, Musk is only 53? How old is Elon Musk? Is he really only 53? 50? Man, he looks like shit. The rest isn't a recap. There's more. More that I don't know. I've been reduced to a happy little gay stereotype. Hey, NBC News! I read the threads. She did not say happy little, uh, happy little stereotype. She said something else there. Yo, do they misquote? Whoa, fake news media? Wilson was also mentioned in a biography of Musk by author Walter Isaacson, a book that she told NBC News was inaccurate and unfair to her. The book refers to her politics as radical Marxism, quoting Musk's sister-in-law, Christiana Musk, but Wilson said she's not a Marxist, though she does oppose wealth inequality. The book also calls her by her middle name, Jenna. Wilson said Isaacson never reached out to her directly ahead of the publication. In a phone interview Thursday, Isaacson said he had reached out to Wilson through family members. Right, well, I remember this biography was literally just a puff piece. Like, it, it literally just like Musk would have paid to have him write a door. And, and you're not going to reach out to the estranged trans daughter who doesn't like him, obviously. You can just lie about her. She says she never received an explanation for why her father spent so little time with her and her siblings, behavior that she now views as strange. He was there, I want to say, maybe 10% of the time. That's generous. He had half custody and he fully was not there. It was just a fact of life at the time, so I don't think I realized just how abnormal of an experience it was. Wilson said she came out twice in life, once as gay in eighth grade and a second time as trans when she was 16. She said that she doesn't recall Musk's response the first time, and she wasn't present when Musk heard from others she was trans, because by then the pandemic had started and she was living full-time with her mother. She's very supportive. I love her a lot. Aw. The pandemic was a chance to escape Musk's cruelty, she said. When COVID hit, I was like, I'm not going over there, she said. It's basically very lucky timing. I really hope Musk's, uh, Musk gets baited into responding to this extensively, because it would probably lead to more roasting from Vivian. Oh my god. Wilson said that in 2020, when she was still a minor at 16, she wanted to start treatment for severe gender dysphoria, but needed the consent of both parents under California law. She said that her mother was supportive, but that Musk initially wasn't. She said she texted him about it for a while. I was trying to do this for months, but he said I had to go meet with him in person, she said. At this point, it was very clear that we both had a very distinct disdain for each other. 
When she eventually went and gave him the medical forms, she said, he read them at least twice, once with her and then again on his own before he signed them. He was not by any means tricked. He knew the full side effects. Right. Puberty blockers and HRT are good. We know that much. Do you remember this old video where another girlfriend accidentally admits to wanting to leave him and never see him again? All I remember was that one time where someone else said that Elon was at like was like dancing with his girlfriend at another person's wedding and Elon was saying some shit about how she was his property or whatever. My parents are traumatized by this whole experience. Although there's been so many times that right, I'm getting on a plane to England and I'm never gonna see you again. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> um no, no, not really. I, 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 I don't know any of the context behind this one. I'm sorry. What I find funny about the Vivian segment is these people would balk at the idea that children could understand their sexual identity as young as two, but are willing to believe a child could be brainwashed as a gay and autistic child of four. Yeah, the, the conservatives' beliefs of like whether or not your identity can exist when you're young or like to what extent you, it can be influenced or changed is completely inconsistent, you know? Like, straight people will say, oh yeah, you know, this two-year-old kid, this two-year-old boy, like, stared at the nanny's tits. Like, wow, haha, he's, he's gonna be a lady killer when he grows up. Or they'll say, like, yeah, I knew I was straight when I was, like, five. But then a per then a, a, a gay kid who's 14 will be like, yeah, I'm gay. And they'll be like, you can't know that at 14. Why are you sexualizing yourself? You know? Elon thinks that a man can't become a woman, but and I'm not shitting you, two days ago he tweeted that with, with the right DNA treatment, a human could become a butterfly. I'm not even getting into that one, man. He genuinely just has, like, the mind of pudding. Like, f f incredible. Huh? There's no, there's no additional context for me to add to that, by the way. They don't think being gay is real. Yeah, have you ever heard the conservative talking point of like all gay people were sexually abused as kids? This used to be a very mainstream one and it's kind of fallen out of favor and now it's kind of coming back a little bit. Most conservatives on some level, at least the more like ideologically hardliner ones, believe that you can't actually be gay or trans. It's a delusional belief. Like there are only straight and cis people and anyone who believes otherwise must have been abused into believing it or grooming or whatever. Even if being gay was exclusively the product of abuse, which again, it's obviously not. That's a com that's demonstrably falsifiable and not true. But even if it was, it wouldn't make sense to say then that it wouldn't be real. Like, is an identity not real if it only is a product of tragedy? If that's the case, like, well, PTSD can't be real because that's the product of trauma. Like, could, could you say then that like a nail could never be bent because like, you would have to hit it with a hammer for it to... Be it doesn't make sense. Like, it, like on a fundamental, like, quality of things, this is how reality works level. It doesn't work, you know? But they use... It's, it's functionally a way for them to say, like, no, you're a degenerate. Like, you're outside the natural order. You know, it doesn't... They do deny PTSD sometimes. It, it fails on a fundamental. Like, you can only be X because Y happened. That means that X didn't... Isn't real. That doesn't make any sense. That's not logically... Like, that's not a logical through line. You, you only like grilled cheese sandwiches because you had a grilled cheese sandwich, then you don't actually like grilled cheese sandwiches. Real grilled cheese sandwich enjoyers know that they like it from birth without even having ever had one or know what they are. Like, you know, they're like a real grilled cheese sandwich enjoyer would not be like groomed into it by having needed to have had a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, it's just a fundamental trait. Actually, psychology doesn't exist. You just are what you are at birth and then nothing changes.